What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everyone that's tuning in. I want to talk about a Jamaican Instagram influencer by the name of Anika Slickiana Townsend. This has been a topic that has been on uh, my radar for over a week or so. And, you know, I, I spoke to some people. And I did some in-depth research. That's why it took me so long to make this video about the situation because it's kind of complex because it hasn't much has not really been done as way of arrests, but they do have a person of interest that basically fled the country. They could be in America. They went on TikTok of all places to proclaim their innocence. I told y'all these people use social media to ruin themselves every single day all they do is look more and more guilty and we're going to get into that and we're going to get into this particular female here 35 years old from jamaica shout out to all my jamaicans and before i get into the commentary this is this video here is me bringing awareness to this topic I don't have all the answers, but I will link you to a live stream I came across from uh, some Jamaicans. Uh, they did an in-depth live stream of the evidence and, and all of the things that are going on in the case. I'll link you to them in the description box. Y'all go and check them out. But from what I understand, let me give you a, a good, um, just from, from what I have learned. Slickiana here, she went to go meet a guy, <laughs> uh, someone that I talked to you know, from Jamaica. They said the guy's basically a scammer, okay? And that's maybe how he was able to get her attention. Now, this guy, his name is Rushan Patterson. That's him. I don't know why, but she actually went to go meet up with this guy and went out with him and he was the last guy that was seen with her and that's why he is considered a person of interest and looking into his past this guy uh he definitely prefers taking it <laughs> than asking for it if you know what i mean i mean this guy has a history of it and from what i from what i have understand it might have might have been the case in this situation with slickiana Maybe he wanted more and she didn't want to give it to him, so he took it anyway. I told y'all, man, these guys are getting more and more thirsty and desperate for these women. And a lot of these Instagram influencers need to be careful of the type of men that they're going to see. I'm not blaming Slickiana for what happened, but what I'm saying is you can't trust a lot of people out here. It don't matter, you know, how they come off. A lot of these guys can come off as somebody that you'd be comfortable with, you know? I don't think they had any real prior relationship until this point. It was some guy that she met that she was going to, you know, go out with. That's just from, from what I, I gather. Um, again, y'all can independently do your own uh, research. But to me, I don't think they had any sort of dealings with each other up until this point. And I will say this, too. I know people may look at her as someone who uh, is an influencer, you know, she, they may think that she, her, they may not like her lifestyle, but I haven't heard too much bad, even though she has people that didn't like her. Uh, but that doesn't mean that she should have what was done done to her. I mean, this one was found floating in a, in a river, partially nude, right? With one shoe on. That's how they found her. And there's video and pictures of it floating all over the internet. I don't think that she deserves that. A lot of these women's activists, quote unquote, advocates need to be speaking on this more. I'm surprised they're not. I'm surprised that this story isn't bigger than, you know, than it actually should be bigger because she was an influencer. Maybe as far as Jamaica, but still she was an influencer. Right? I think this is ultimately a shame because this is somebody that seemingly um, was liked, but there were people that didn't like her. But ultimately, 
she's a woman that lost her life for what? Because she came across a guy that has a history of taking it from women, allegedly. But let's get into this particular article. This is from the New York Post. It says authorities have named a person of interest alleged in the alleged uh, murder of Instagram influencer Anika Slickiana Townsend, whose body was found floating offshore of, J of Jamaica. Beach commerce have reportedly discovered a 35 year old's decomposing corpse floating in the water off Reading, St. Andrew Parish on the morning of October 21st. Jam Press reported no cause of death has been given, but Townsend was in a semi nude state with wounds to her head and neck, according to the Jamaican Observer. Following the grisly discovery, eyewitnesses alerted authorities who enlisted the Marine Division of Jamaican Constabulary Force uh, to help them con uh, can retrieve her body from the ocean. Bystanders said they saw police also remove a blood-covered towel and wig from the scene of the alleged crime. He subsequently identified the St. Andrew Parish based fashion influencer and brand ambassador who went by the moniker Kayan later that day with the aid of her mother. Police have since named Rashawn Chizzy Patterson as a person of interest in the alleged slang. We have Rashawn Patterson of Prosper Hanover. As a person of interest in the investigation, they wrote in a statement demanding that Patterson turn himself into a police station in Montego Bay, St. James Parish by 5 p.m. on Sunday. Despite the summons, police have yet to hear from Patterson. However, they conducted a series of raids on Saturday morning, which resulted in the seizure of a motor vehicle and are imploring the public to come forward with any tips that might lead by aid in the investigation. At the time of her death, Townsend had amassed nearly 320,000 followers on her Instagram page, where she regularly uploaded fashion videos and endorsed several brands. The mother, who tragically leaves a young son behind, so she was a, she's a mother, also ran an online clothing store, Slick Pieces, J8 Jam Press reported. In her final TikTok video from October 18th, with 165,000 views, Townsend can be seen holding the keys to her new house along with the caption, New Beginning. But who knew that would be the end? That would be the end. Um, I, I say this a lot. You know, these women, they have followings. They have fans. And again, you do have to be mindful of going to meet people, especially on a different side of Jamaica, so it seems like I'm not familiar with the logistics, but from what I understand, it was, you know, she had to, you know, it took a little while to get there. I'll say that because, you know, you just can't trust everybody. A lot of these guys have bad intentions. You know, we think we can read people, but we, you know, we ultimately, we probably can't. We don't really know people's true intentions. This guy took her out thinking that he was going to get more and then he got less and then he decided to take it because he has a history of doing so. As you can see there, it's just sad. She leaves behind a son. That's not what should be happening, you know? But being an influencer, there's going to be a lot. Of, you're going to come across dudes that are just crazy, dudes that are thirsty, dudes that will do whatever it takes to get some, right? <laughs> Lie, cheat, and steal, whatever. That, you know? I, I just think that it, it just wasn't the right thing to do. And again, it's not playing the blame game because ultimately the guy who is alleged to have done it, you know, this guy fled because he knew what he had done. And again, coming to America is not going to save him because all they're going to do is deport him. Okay. Friends and fans have flocked to Instagram to mourn the late social media stars on timely death. Condolences to the family and friends. This seriously broke my heart. Wrote one devastated follower on Instagram. My soul is sick of this you don't deserve this another said no woman deserved this i wish i could lay it out all here but slick you will forever live in my heart they added anger fear and resentment only represents the tip of what some of us are feeling i chose to remember 
you happy. I choose to remember as a business woman, as an influencer, as a spirit twin. See there? You know, I you know, I spoke about the Mercedes Mar situation, right? Mercedes Mar had a guy that she that was I'm 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 assuming was a guy who was her pay pig or her you know, a guy that paid her money through social media. She had this man come to her house and he ended up taking her life. And she lives in a gated community. That guy couldn't have got in there unless she let him in. You know, as again, when you're in the public eye and people know who you are, you have to be careful because we have crazies out here. You know, this dude who, this dude Rashawn, has a history of assaulting women, allegedly. <laughs> allegedly, this guy has a history of assaulting women, and he is the person of interest. And he could, he not very well. So, the suspect in this that did this, it took this woman's life. The, the why she's not no longer here. Because she wouldn't give him none because you know he did all that tricking and all that, you know, trying to get a you know a perceived lifestyle. Cause, you know, I was told that the guy's basically a scammer. And when that didn't work out, you know, he went this he went this route. It's it's super unfortunate. But again, as an influencer, as someone who's well known out here, you gotta be careful because you know you can't just judge somebody based off how you see them. They look, personality, you know, they, they have a history. This guy had a history. And she fell right into whatever trap he had. Because if, because then he, I believe the dude made his mind up. If he wasn't going to get none, he was going to take it. And that's exactly what happened in the situation. That's unfortunate. This woman had a child. And now she's no longer here due to her being a little bit too trusting of this guy and his intentions. Not all these guys are going to do for you and not expect anything in return. You know, this guy thought he was going to get something in return. And when she wasn't offering it, he took it allegedly, but we'll see. I just want to bring awareness to this case. Like I have done other times. Cause I'm the biggest advocate for melanated women out here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I'm bringing more awareness to these type of topics than most of these so-called advocates do. So again, I'll leave a link to the Jamaican YouTubers uh, video, which is a lot more detailed than me. Make sure y'all like this video and share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll see y'all in the next one.